Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I stretch my natural hair and keep it stretched all the time to avoid tangles and breakage and promote hair growth. I learned these methods growing up in the Caribbean and they are very efficient to keep my natural hair stretched. I'm going to start first by drenching my natural hair with water to show you how I start the stretching process on my hair wash days. To wash my hair, I often use natural products I make from the kitchen like oatmeal cream, flaxseed gel, cornstarch gel, and marshmallow root. I also use my shampoo bars and homemade shampoos that I want to test and practice oil cleansing from time to time, especially during the winter. Yeah, I'm gonna separate my hair into two parts. And I'm gonna let this part air dry without twisting. Now I'm going to twist my hair on this part, so I'm going to do four twists. Once I'm finished washing my natural hair, I would automatically do big twists to stretch it. I usually do four to eight twists, but sometimes I do only two twists because my hair is longer now. During my hair growth journey, I would actually do twists at the first step of my hair wash day, which is a hot oil treatment and finger detangling. I would keep my hair in twists during the entire process of washing and conditioning to avoid tangles and breakage and keep myself very organized. So as you can see, I did four twists on the left side of my hair and kept my hair out on the left side. This is how my hair looks like. It's still very wet, but as it dries, it will start to shrink a lot. This is how my hair looks like after about 10 minutes. As you can see, the shrinkage takes place on both sides of my hair, but the twist allow me to keep my hair tangle free because in that case, my hair still shrinks a little bit, but in a very organized way. On the left side of my hair, my natural curls are becoming tighter and tighter as they dry. This is my hair 45 minutes later. As you can see, my hair has shrunken even more. I could even do a wash and go hairstyle if I want to, it's just I would avoid doing wash and goes during my hair growth journey because this hairstyle would create a lot of knots in my hair. Now I'm removing my twist to show you the difference. Of course, my hair still shrinks on this side because it's still humid. I would usually remove the twist once my hair is completely dry or at least 95% dry and then I would apply an oil and do my twist again to stretch my hair even more. So here, I'm going to use carrot oil to redo my twists. Notice that I avoid using products with water to prevent my hair from shrinking. Using only oils and butters is also the key to keep my hair stretched, lubricated and nourished. In the Caribbean, my mom used to use black castor oil on my hair to do this stretching method and the other method that I'm going to show you later in this video.
Now I'm going to remove my twist again to show you the difference between the right and the left side of my hair. As you can see, the right side of my hair is more elongated even if it's not totally dry. Twisting and retwisting with an oil or butter is very helpful to get this stretch look. Now you know the method that I use all the time to stretch my natural hair. Very, very simple. Now let me show you the second stretching method. Here is my hair. As you can see, it's completely dry and stretched thanks to my twists. The second stretching method consists in doing flat buns. You can do as many flat buns as you want but me I like to do 4 flat buns because it's more convenient for me. Doing flat buns will help you to keep your hair stretched and soft. Personally I like to do this method mainly when my natural hair is blow dried or straightened because it's very efficient in helping me keeping my natural hair straight for at least a month. I've made a video about how I do this method when my hair Hair is blow dried so make sure to check it out I'll put the link in the description box so as you can see I parted my hair into two sections then each section will be divided into two smaller sections because I'm going to do four flat buns to do my flat buns I make sure to detangle my hair really well from tips to roots here my hair is already lubricated with oils I don't mind detangling my natural hair when it's dry because it's actually stronger when it's dry also I would like to insist on the fact that natural afro hair is not as weak as a lot of people want to make you think Once I'm satisfied with the detangling, I'm gonna twist my hair like I'm showing you here and create my flat bun. Once I start to turn the twist around to form the bun, I put one of my hands on top and hold it flat so that my bun is as flat as possible. I don't know how to explain this process really well in English, but the goal is to keep the bun as flat as possible. After forming the bun, I'm gonna secure it with bobby pins. I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the other section of hair. I detangle my hair really well and if needed, I'm gonna add oils to my hair. Here, I'm using carrot oil. Once I'm finished with the detangling, I simply create the flat bun.
Here is the final result. If it's time to go to sleep, you should put a satin scarf and then simply remove the buns the next day and do your hairstyle. So here, I'm gonna remove the flat buns. As you can see, my natural hair is even more stretched. Now all my flat burns are removed and my hair feels very supple and soft. This method will really help you achieve this blow dried look without using any heat on your hair. It also makes your hair more manageable so that you can style it with ease the next day. I decided to do a bun and this is how it looks. It took me less than 2 minutes to do that bun. That's it for this video, I hope it was helpful, don't hesitate to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.